Oh, Mikey, we sure ate well today. I'm so full I won't eat for two days. Let's hurry up, JJ. Let's go find some new adventures. Jay and Mikey, wait, I need your help. Hey, do we know you? We don't remember you. Are you from this village? There's a huge obsidian sword in the village. Come with me and I'll show it to you. An obsidian sword? Huge? I don't know what you're talking about. What kind of sword? You'll see for yourself. Hmm. Look at this. What a super huge sword. Uh, why did you call us here? What do you want to do with it? I thought you should know about this. Maybe you have some ideas about what to do with it. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. We should take a good look at it. Maybe we can find something so special about it. Hmm. This sword is special, and I noticed there's a portal inside of it. Maybe we should go through it. A portal, you say? Maybe we should get in there and see what's inside. It might even be a trap. So we need to be super careful and look around with caution. Uh, look, I think there's a trunk over here. What's so interesting about it? Well, let's see. Whoa, there was a book in here. Maybe it's a clue. Uh, what does it say? Read it. Hmm. If you add a block to a sword, it gets its powers? Hmm, what would that mean? Uh, maybe it's an enchantment? Like if you add a diamond block to a sword, it becomes super strong? Huh? How's that for an idea? It makes sense. And where can we find such special blocks? Uh, in the village warehouse, for example. Oh, no! I think there's a lot of value there. We could experiment with the blocks and add blocks of earth or gold. So you're suggesting we go to the village and steal villagers' blocks? Uh, yeah. Where else would we get them? Let's go. No one will notice us. That's a dubious idea, to be honest. Although, on the other hand, I have no idea where we're going to find any more unique blocks. Let's go! I think this sword holds some secrets. And to find out, we have to play by its rules. And the first rule is to find the blocks. So what? They're going to see us now. Maybe we should do this kind of thing at night. Calm down, JJ. It's okay. Look, I think they're sitting there watching TV. Hey, I thought I saw the news somewhere. I have a weird feeling I remember that. Uh, let's not get distracted and let's go. Be careful, and no one will find us. Just keep moving forward and don't get in anyone's way. Ah, uh, look how many boxes there are. Let's open them all up and see what we can take with us. <gasps> wow, how many diamonds are here? We're definitely taking this one with us. There's more chests. There's definitely something valuable in them. <laughs> Armor, we're gonna need it. I have a feeling we will. Uh, what makes you say that? Why would we need armor? What if it's that sword? And that portal. Us, what if it's a trap? There seems to be some tools in here. But what's in this chest? Not enough diamonds. Let's see what we've got here then. Go! Okay, let's take a look. Woohoo! Whoa! It looks like there's a bunch of emeralds in here. I think you and I have enough stuff, and we can get out of here. Uh-uh! There's more stuff in here. Like this chest here, for example, there's gold. So go ahead and take as much as we need. So, we've got armor, we've got weapons, we've got gold bars, we've got emeralds, we've got diamonds. I think that's enough to see what powers that sword has from the book. Uh, now we need to get back here by ourselves, without anyone noticing us and without making too much noise. Yes, I can see they're watching the news intently. And that's good. It means no one found us and no one knows we were here. Did you say we should be away from the sword? Yes! It's an unknown thing! It's a huge sword with some kind of portal inside it. And why is it there? Most importantly, where does it go? So, we have to be super careful. Maybe it's some kind of dangerous artifact that can drive you crazy. Ah, uh, you shouldn't have read those books! I can see you've got some stupid thoughts in your head. I'm serious. What are we supposed to do now? Just put all the blocks in this chest? Uh, hey! Doesn't that book tell you what to add? And the question is, where exactly do you add the blocks? Ah! Hey, Mikey, what's going on? Why are you yelling? There's a book in there. I was afraid there was a new book. What does it say? Well, let's read what it says then. It says that each block has a unique property that gives the sword a special power. It says something like that. Oh. Well, take it any way you want, but I think it's time we added some blocks. Hey, you read that we need to figure out which blocks have unique powers first. Yeah, so what? Let's just add them all together and see what happens. Uh, no, we don't. Bring all these blocks with you. We'll test them to see what they do, but not here. Or we'll make this sword worse and it'll explode. Uh, we're about to find out on this cow right here. Hiya! That was fast. So the diamond block adds damage as I understand it. Is it super powerful or something? I guess so. But there's a special orange block. 
I wonder what it does. I wonder what the emerald block has to offer. Uh, let's do it. Let's see it now. What is it? I want to try this apple tree. Ah, uh, Mikey. It's interesting that the emerald block seems to increase the amount of stuff. For example, I have a huge stack of apples. Cool. How does that affect the sword? I still don't get it, to be honest. And then there's these vines. Look at that. We can use them to climb the sword and put a block in it. Oh, by the way, do you have any idea how we're going to put the blocks in? Uh, you mean exactly where we're going to put them? I don't know. Doesn't that book say where we're supposed to put them? Something tells me there's a hole around the sword where we can put the blocks. Uh, yeah, JJ, you're right. I noticed that there's like arches around the sword where something could be inserted. What if we tried to attach the blocks to it? Let's try it. So let's just climb up. So we have to put these blocks in here somewhere? Uh, yeah, JJ. Look for those with the hollows in the texture. That's probably where you put the block and the sword will gain powers. There's some weird sounds like we did it. I wonder what we're gonna do now. Are we sure we're done? But why isn't anything interesting happening with the sword? Maybe we missed something. I don't think so. We put in blocks that should give the sword unique powers, but... Potion! There's a potion in the chest! You need to activate the sword! Activate the sword? What does that mean? What does it do? Throw the potion directly into the sword, and you'll see it transform. And it will thank you. I don't get it at all. Well, if we're getting started, let's go. Just throw the potion into the sword? And what interesting things happen? Finally. I've waited so long for this. Waited for what? I don't understand, and I don't see anything happening to the sword. Uh-oh. I think some kind of mechanism has kicked in. JJ, look at it. The sword went up. Yeah, finally. The ancient relic has come to life, and it's all thanks to you. I can use the sword again. Hey, man, you're not telling us something, are you? Who are you, and what's going on with the sword? I can finally get my sword back and conquer all the lands again. I've been waiting for this for centuries. Centuries? Oops, I think we have a problem. JJ, you were right. The sword has come back to life, and it looks like we did something completely different than we should have. You brought the sword back to life. <laughs> and now I can use it to take over a planet to merge it with another planet and create a new universe. <laughs> but you are very dangerous to me. I have to get rid of you. Oh my god, Mikey, come on. I think we've awakened some kind of ancient evil. What do we do now? Just deal with it. First, uh -oh. I'm gonna destroy all humans because you're jeopardizing my plans. And then I will create a new species of creature. <laughs> and there will be no more humans. Uh, this seems pretty serious. And it looks like the apocalypse from the way he's talking. Hey, Mikey, I got a plan. What if I try to get inside that sword somehow? Maybe that portal is the inside of the sword. Are you out of your mind? Whoa, 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 that's a great idea. What am I supposed to do? So watch this. Your job is to distract the sorcerer and the sword. I'll try to get up on the roof and jump through the portal. And then I'll try to destroy the sword from the inside. Uh, sounds good. Then let's get started. Hey, you. Hey, man, wait, don't shoot me. Ha <laughs> ha, let's talk. What? I don't get it. Are you the bravest guy here? Uh, maybe. What if there's something I can do to help you? I don't want to be with people. Let me help you. I like your idea. I need an extra set of hands so I can realize my plans. And maybe you can help me with that. Good for you, Mikey. You're doing a great job of tricking the sorcerer. What the hell is that? Does it look like there's a bunch of ghosts inside this sword? Why are they all attacking me? Hey, you, calm down. I'm not even your enemy. Stop it right now. Ah, uh, they don't seem to understand and think I'm their enemy. I'll have to fight them as usual. So, what have we got? I've destroyed all the ghosts. But my task is to devise a diversion to destroy the sword and stop the sorcerer. Hey, there's the heart. But it looks like there's something I can put in it. What if I look for something in here now? I wish I had explosives so I could finish this quick. But I noticed there's something in the heart. Well then, good luck to me. I think I can do it. Just as long as I know what to do and where to go. And it looks like there's some ghosts in here again. Apparently, they're not going to be friendly. They're all trying to attack me. Well, I'm not just going to stand here. I'm going to destroy them. And then I'll figure out how to destroy this whole place with the sword. What the hell is that cube? Maybe I can use it for a heart? Why do I need cubes anyway? 
I'd like to find some kind of explosive, but so far I haven't found anything interesting. So, what do we got? First, I need to get through these beams, because I can see it's not that easy to get to them. But I still don't know what I need to do. I don't think it's a good idea to just stand there and hit my heart with a diamond sword. So let's see what these things do, shall we? What are they? I understand that this thing needs to be installed right in the heart, and it'll set off some kind of destructive mechanism? The heart will begin to be destroyed? Maybe, or maybe it's a special key that I can use to open the heart and access it. And if that's the case, I could destroy it very quickly. And this place looks kind of creepy. It's like there's a bunch of portals. I also noticed that there's some kind of liquid, like the stuff that's in the portal itself. It's all very mysterious to me. I don't understand anything. I don't even know what to do. If I had dynamite, I could just plant it around and blow up this heart. But I don't think that's gonna work. So, I'm gonna build some pillars to put these two keys right into the heart. Oh no, I only have two. I need four. So I have to find the keys. But I know they're probably in the next door. The second door I didn't go in. For some reason, I think that's where the keys should be. Well, it looks like two of the four are there. So, I'm gonna try to find the other two real quick. Okay, we're going to the other room where more dangers may await us. And what do we have here? Yeah, ghosts, who doubt it? Ah, well, while I'm destroying them, I'll quickly say that this is all very unexpected. That sorcerer, who is he and why does he need a sword? I take it he wants to use it to do evil in the world? Is bad, and I really hope that if we destroy the sword, we can stop the sorcerer, because such evil must be eradicated and only destroy the sword, not leave it. All this time, the sorcerer has been hiding in the village under the guise of a villager. Oh my god, this is just awful! But I hope the time has come to put an end to it. Not much left, and I can see there's not much danger here. I wonder if I could free these ghosts. Or not. I didn't have a choice, so I destroyed them. Either they would destroy me, or I would destroy them. So in that case, the choice is obvious. So, just a few more steps to the keys. And oh my goodness, what do I see? I see that there are two of them, and it's a good thing they're in the same place together. Now I have to get them and get back to that heart. I'm hoping very hard that I'll trigger some kind of mechanism that will just destroy that heart, which means the sword will be destroyed too, which means the sorcerer will be weakened. And we can easily take him down with Mikey, because I have a feeling that the sorcerer will somehow get extra power from the heart. I really hope Mikey's okay, because I'm kind of freaking out about this whole situation. So, I just need to put in two more keys and I'll probably get access. Then, I'll begin the process of destroying the heart. And then I can go back to Mikey and we can defeat the sorcerer together. After the sword is gone, it will be very difficult for the sorcerer because he'll be alone and nothing else will help him. It's my and Mikey's problem that we trusted that dude. It's like I knew something was wrong. Uh, and it turns out I was right. So all the keys are in and what happens to the heart? Hey, I see something starting to happen. Does it feel like an earthquake? Oh no, I'm inside that giant sword, which means I've succeeded in destroying the sword. And now it looks like it's time for me to get out. Hey, what the hell is that? What are those monsters? Oops, I think I'm in a little trouble. It looks like mutant Enderman came out of heart. Now I'm gonna start destroying monsters. It looks like JJ's gonna have to fight some monsters now. And we're gonna see if he can do it. Well, of course he's gonna do it. So JJ destroyed the great sword and now the sorcerer is weakened which means defeat for him. And now JJ and Mikey are celebrating the victory. Or is there still something left? Hmm. Ho <laughs> oh. Hey Mikey, watch out, watch out. Oh my God, are you alive? Jay, it's so good to see you. What took you so long? And look at the sword. It looks like we destroyed it. I destroyed the heart of the sword and now it's starting to disintegrate. Uh, come on, are you serious right now? I can't believe it. That's right, Mikey. We destroyed the sword, and now we're left with the sorcerer. Hey, you! You got something to tell us? What happened to my sword? What did you do to it, you miserable human? This can't be happening! Get out of here and don't ever come back. 
Or I'll have to beat you up too, and you'll end up just like your sword. Oh, uh, look, he's gone. But that's too bad because that dude could come back. Yeah, but at least now that sword won't fly around and shoot at us. JJ and Mikey, we'd like to thank you for saving us from those, from those monsters. So here's a little bonus from us in the form of these gifts. Thank you again for saving us. Oh, no problem. We are already used to constantly help everyone. We will always be happy to wait for you in our village. We'll even give you your house. Thank you again. Cool. And it looks like we now have a lot of money. Well, well. So that's how special today's adventure was. The most important thing is that we neutralize the threat. And we're still in one piece. What do you think, Mikey? I'm very glad that we have all done. You're good that you single-handedly destroyed the heart. You're a cool dude. Okay, now it's time for a little snack. Come on, I'm hungry. 